um, kind of the next step after the press is you have the clip you put on. You really want to make sure this gets bottomed out in the groove. Sometimes what I'll even do is just lean it in against me, just But really, if you, if you press that hub on all the way good, it's just going to pop in there. But it doesn't hurt to give a little extra taps just for reassurance. Um, I do recommend trying to look at the gap sticking out around. Make sure that's real nice and even. Just another quick double check. Make sure you got your clip in all the way. After that, I always like to put the synchro in. I got a little lube on there. Um, when I first did this, I try and put, you know, tons and tons of lube on there. Um, you know, you can probably see some little red marks on the bench here. It, it, if you lube these up a bunch, it just it just drains out everywhere. So, about a thin coating is all it's going to last. Um, I actually took this apart to double check something, so most of its lube's already leaked out. Make sure that synchro's in there, so I like to do that. I put the bearing on at the same time. This is an aftermarket main shaft, aftermarket gear, so it'll probably just fall right on. Stock, you'd have to press it on. So that does make it a little more difficult, that you have to go back to the press when you're dealing with stock. Um, in stock, you're going to have to press third off. Well, you can't use first because there's a clip holding the 1 2 hub on. So, usually, what I use is the 1 2 slider. Um, get some angle iron or something, push that. Your keys kind of fall out and hit the floor, but um, that is how you get third off. Um, when you're looking at the clip for third gear, the the book on early type 1 stuff will specify, you know, like you can have play in that clip. What that really does is just allows third movement to hammer. Probably not such a big deal on the 091 package um, setup, but on the, the, the type 1 setup, as I call it, that's kind of with the Beatles and like, you know, your three ribs, your five ribs. If you have play here, that also gives your 1-2 hub play because it's all locked here. And the more drive it has, the faster it'll pop out and bash out those shims. And so it's good on the Type 1 base stuff to use the hardened shims and get this shim or clipped in as tight as possible because you don't want it to have a running start to do it. You want it to be nice and snug. So I do recommend a snug fitting clip because you don't want up and down play. And you know, just give it a couple of taps, visually make sure it's the same all around, and that's how you get built up to third.